Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a video that a lot of you guys requested. It's going to be a battery life test for the Xperia Z5 and Z5 Compact. So on the left here is the Xperia Z3 Compact, and then next to it is the Z5 Compact, the Xperia M5, the Xperia Z3 Plus, and the Xperia Z5. So you can see that all these phones are on maximum brightness right now, and they're also on airplane mode. And finally, they're at 100% battery life with no apps open. So starting off pretty even here. And for the first test, I'm simply going to leave these phones on for about 8 hours. And then I'll check back in and check what the battery life percentages are. Alright, so we're nearly 8 hours in here and I'm going to go ahead and check what the battery life percent on these phones is. So 99% for the Z3 Compact, 100% for the Z5 Compact, 99% for the M5, 99% for the Z3 Plus, and finally for the Z5, 100%. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the screens on for 30 minutes on each of these at maximum brightness. Alright, so I'll check in in 30 minutes. Alright, so we're at about 30 minutes in. And the Z3 Compact is at 96%. The Z5 Compact is at 95%. The M5 is at 94%. The Z3 Plus is at 93%. And the Z5 is at 94%. Alright, so for the next test, I'm going to run GTA San Andreas for 30 minutes on each of these phones. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes now. I'm going to exit out of the app. All these are on max brightness again, and also I put the volume level up on all the phones as well to maximum. Alright, so let's check in on the battery. 83% for the Z3 Compact, 82% for the Z5 Compact, 80% for the M5, 77% for the Z3 Plus, and 79% for the Z5. Alright, so for this next test, I'm going to have all these phones uh, taking a 4K video, and it's going to be for 15 minutes. Alright guys, so I'll check in in 15 minutes here. Alright, so change of plans here. After a few minutes, I have a memory error with the M5 and the Z3 Plus overheated. So we're going to exit out of these apps. Alright, so for now, I'm going to put the uh, brightness level at zero. And now I'm simply going to leave the screens on for 30 minutes, uh, just like this with minimum brightness. And this is at 0% brightness, <clears throat> and it's not on adaptive brightness either. It's just, uh, it doesn't get very bright, and it doesn't get very dim. Alright, so it's now 1 o'clock, and not much change at all for the battery percentage with these phones. And I did delete some of the data with the Xperia M5, so we should be able to do a camera test here. And this time I'm just going to do a uh, regular camera test rather than 4K. Alright, so this is just going to be for 15 minutes. Alright, so we're closing at the 15 minute mark here. And what I'm going to do for the final test is I'm going to do a Wi-Fi YouTube test. So I'm going to take the phones off airplane mode and run YouTube for 30 minutes. But the thing is, is when I have five phones, it's hard to have all of them running YouTube simultaneously. So I'm going to have three phones running YouTube for 30 minutes and the other two phones will be playing GTA. And then I'll do two other phones uh, doing YouTube for 30 minutes after that. And then the other three phones will be playing GTA. So go ahead and stop this. Alright, I'm going to put these on medium brightness. So the Z3 Compact is at 72%. The Z5 Compact is at 70%, the M5 is at 66%, and again, it was on minimum brightness before, it just doesn't get that uh, dim. 64% for the Z3 Plus, and 66% for the Z5. Alright.
Now I'm going to take three of these phones off the airplane mode. Alright, so I got three videos now playing maximum uh, volume. It's going to be for 30 minutes. Going back to GTA on these two phones. Alright, now check in in 30 minutes. Alright, so 30 minutes in. Finally time to get out of these apps. Alright, and now we just have GTA running on here, so I'll get out of this also. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to have these two playing YouTube videos and these three playing GTA San Andreas. Alright, so just so you guys can see, I've taken these three off of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and back into airplane mode. And then these two are now on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And now these have GTA San Andreas about to run. Same beach video about to run. And again, it's going to be 30 minutes and this is going to be the final test. So check in with the final results after this is done. Alright, so we're finally at the end of the test here. It's been 30 minutes. Now I'm going to close out of all the apps, put it back in airplane mode, and then I'll tell you the final results. Alright, so here we go. With the Z3 Compact, it finished at 51%. With the Z5 Compact, it finished at 49%. So I think that makes sense to me because the uh, Z5 Compact has a 2700 mAh battery while the Z3 Compact has a 2600 mAh battery but the uh, Z5 Compact definitely has better internals and uh, also as you can probably see the screen got brighter and things like that even though it's on the same, has been on the same throughout the video, been on the same levels. So I think it's pretty good, only a couple percent down for the Z5 Compact. Now for the Xperia M5, finished at 42%, so down from the compact versions, but it makes sense because the uh, Xperia M5 is a 2600 mAh battery, which is the same as the Xperia Z3 Compact, even though the Xperia M5 has a bigger screen. Alright, and so now for the final two. The Xperia Z3 Plus at 39%. And then the Xperia Z5 at 43%. So I guess a tad bit surprising there because the Xperia Z5 has almost the same size battery as the Z3 Plus. Actually, Z3 Plus is slightly larger at 2930, whereas the Z5 is 2900. But still pretty similar. Um, maybe Sony's done some better optimizations with the Xperia Z5. So one last thing I want to say before I end this video. I think that all these phones have excellent battery life compared to most of the competition. So I've owned phones like the Galaxy and the iPhone in the past. And I think that Xperia phones have some of the best battery on any smartphone you can buy. And I will say that you should get a minimum of a day out of these phones for battery life. Now if you're playing high end games all day of course you're not going to get a full day of battery life. But I never have an issue with any of these phones getting at least one full day of battery life. And you'll probably get two days of battery life if you uh, use your phone lightly. So you guys, hope we found this review helpful, and I'm going to be doing one more battery life test this year when the Xperia Z5 Premium comes out. So if you have any suggestions for things I can improve with the way I do the testing, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.